Welcome back everyone. So today I will just be showing you guys what's on my phone. So I have the LG Stylo. This is what it looks like. It's a good phone for the most part. It's on the back. Here is the unlock button right there. So you press that. Lock screen comes up. It is currently 4.05 p.m. Um, on the front, I have a picture of me and Junior. And then, sorry if it's a little bright. Let me try to make it as clear as possible. There we go. So for my wallpaper, I just have this kind of ink spilling looking water thingy majigger whatever you want to call it um so this is the first page when you unlock my phone the first app is inbox let me try to make this maybe if i dim it a little bit see it better okay so the first app right here is inbox and that's another app that Gmail made. Um, it's a little bit more convenient than Gmail, so I downloaded that. Um, so that's where all my emails are. The next app right here is Credit Karma. Um, I like to have that one on there because it is convenient for me to check my credit and keep up with uh, my credit score and everything of that sort. This one right here, this orange, the orange headphones, is the Google Play Music. Um, the next one, obviously, you've seen this one before. It is Pandora. I still have Pandora, yes. Next to it is Spotify. Down here is the 7-Eleven app. Um, I use that when I go to 7-Eleven. Um, they have a reward system, just like a lot of the other stores. Every time you buy a fountain drink, whether it's their coffee or their soda or a Slurpee or anything like that, then you can get a, um, a star. I'll open it up for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. As you see, I have one star currently. They scan that barcode right there and you'll get a star. Once you get, I believe it's two, three, four, five, six stars, then your um, seventh drink is free and you can get any size for free. So that's what that is. So we'll go back. So 7-Eleven and then the next two apps are Kaiser. Um, that's what insurance I have. So this one is KP and then this one is KP Prevention. They both pretty much do the same thing. I'm not really sure what the difference between the two are honestly, but they both do the same thing. I can schedule doctor's appointments. I can send messages to my doctors. I can look up maybe, um, I can look up um, any past previous appointments, any upcoming appointments, anything like that. So it's convenient. Um, the next one is a flashlight. Pretty handy. Um, this one is the Samsung Smart Camera app. From this app, um, I downloaded it for the camera that I have. I do have a Samsung um, camera and that's the camera that I use to film and um, from there I can my camera has built-in Wi-Fi so any videos that I'm filming I can send them straight to my phone or pictures or anything like that and vice versa I can send any pictures and videos that I film on my phone to the camera as long as I have that app right there so it's pretty convenient as well this next one is Netflix Try to zoom in there you go this one is Netflix um, Pinterest, Instagram, obviously, Snapchat, followers, Insta followers. So for all of you people out there that have a habit of requesting people and following people and then unfollowing people and thinking that they don't notice, that app is for you. So yeah, you unfollow me, I unfollow you. The next one is Instagram layout. Um, that's how I do my layouts for my pictures, for my pictures, um, any like collages and all of that. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me at Chic Senses. I 
hit something. Hold on. Okay. Next one is Insta Beauty. That is a like a beauty fire app. Sort of comes with filters and you can edit your pictures and everything. And this next one is Ink and Water Live Wallpaper. That's something I needed to download in order to get this wallpaper that you guys are seeing right now. So that's everything that's on that page. And then as you see, the apps that are down here is the phone app, um, the contacts. This obviously opens up the rest of the apps on the phone, my messaging, and um, the internet. So I scroll over and on this page I have, this is just the page that I keep for like all the games and stuff. Um, I only have one game on here. This is the uh, Price is Right Bingo. I love that game. You guys should give it a try. The first app is the Bible for Kids. Um, the rest of the apps on here are for Junior, obviously. So Bible for Kids, uh, ABC Mouse, YouTube Kids, uh, Bedtime Stories, and another um, story time app. This is pretty much his page. Scroll over and this is um, pretty much the main page. You have Google search bar at the top. You have the weather. You can see the city that I live in, Sacramento. It is currently raining. It's been raining all day, 52 degrees outside. Gives you, and this is from AccuWeather. So I like to have this on the front of my phone. That way I can kind of see what the weather is gonna be like for the current day and the next few days. And then below here is the Bible app, calendar, clock, obviously calculator, pictures, um, settings, the quick memo pad. So I take my notes right there, camera, Google Play Store, and anything that's Google related. So Gmail, um, let's see. So yeah. Google Chrome, Gmail, Google Plus, Maps, um, Hangouts, pretty much everything that's Google related. And then right here is the um, YouTube Studio app that they just recently made for YouTube um, content creators, which is pretty convenient. That way um, we don't always have to log in through um, the desktop. Next page is, uh, we already went over that. So yeah, that is pretty much everything that I have on my phone. Um, when you open up the rest of the apps and everything, it's just pretty much everything that you already, I hate how bright it is, how you can barely see anything, I apologize. But yeah, you open it up pretty much all the apps that you've seen. And there's a few apps that I don't use that often, so they are not on the main pages that I showed you, like Trulia, Zillow, those apps, obviously, um, I use to find, you know, homes, houses, realty kind of stuff. So, um, Indeed, Job Search, Avakin Life, that's a game that Junior just downloaded. So yeah, some of these apps, um, I don't use them very often, so they're not going to be on the main pages. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Groupon. I have Amazon Shopping. I have Square Register. I have Kindle, YouTube. YouTube. Um, that's about... Let's see if I missed anything. Oh, I have... Fandango, have Cinemark Theaters, Google Translate, so if I need to know how to say something in Spanish or French, that's the app. Other than that, that's it. Oh, I have SoundCloud, I have I'm Hungry, there's this app that I downloaded, I guess it just gives you like different recipes and everything, American... Chinese, French, Indian, Italian, all that. So just click on American. Haven't actually looked through here yet. And you see it'll give you like just different recipes. This one is a zucchini chickpea cashew patty sandwich. Actually, let's 
actually looks pretty good. I can't remember if all these... I can't remember if all these um, recipes in here are vegan or vegetarian. I do plan on um, transitioning. So yeah, I wanted to download an app that gave me some pretty good uh, recipe ideas. So that's that. Other than that, that's it. I have showed you guys everything. There is nothing else to show you. There's my Snapchat, as you see. There I am. Go over, you got all my friends. Everything of that sort. So yeah, that's that. Alright you guys, well that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on my phone. Hope the holidays were fun filled and you guys got to spend a lot of time with your family. Until next time, I will see you guys later.